Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 21st of 2020. Well, it is titled Unwinding M51. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of a part of the spiral galaxy known as M51. However, it has been processed and changed. And the spiral arms that normally swirl around have been uh, digitally adjusted so to take that into account and bring them into straight lines. So you can see how they've been unwound. And now instead of winding around the galaxy, they just kind of stretch straight across. And it allows us to see the star formation right along those spiral arms. So you can see them stretching across the screen. And you can see the bright blue uh, star clusters that are associated with these parts of the spiral arms. And in addition, you can see the red glow of hydrogen gas that is uh, caused by the ultraviolet radiation from the hot stars that have formed that then excites the hydrogen gas and causes them to glow and give off a distinct red color that is associated with hydrogen. So both of those are associated with star formation. In addition, we see some of the dark dust clouds, which are the newest regions of star formation, the areas where star formation is still going on. So we can see multiple star stages of star formation. And because these stars, these blue stars that we see do not live a very long time, it tells us that the stars had to have formed recently. As an example, if a specific type of star only lives 10 million years and we see it around, it must have formed within the last 10 million years. Otherwise, it would be gone. Any stars that only live for 10 million years would not be around in a 100 million years or a billion years. So the fact that we still see them means that they must have formed relatively recently. And in terms of star formation, talking about 10 million years is a very small period of time, considering the age of our sun at maybe about 5 billion years or the age of our galaxy at 10 ish billion years. That's a very, very short time when we're only talking few millions of years. So here in this Hubble Space Telescope image, we get to take apart the galaxy and digitally process it to try to help to better understand the star formation that is going on within the spiral arms. So that was our picture of the day for August the 21st of 2020. It was titled Unwinding M51. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.